Welcome back, 0K fans, to Natalie Zidane. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333 and this next match is going to be between Icons and 400 on into battle. So let's get started. This map is relatively typical. People should be aware of how it works. It's a flat map, the big plateaus in the middle, and a bit of a choke point between them. Both players going for the Light Vehicle Factory, and it looks like both players also going for early dart scouting, because that's kind of how you do Light Vehicle Factory. Although Icons way less... Oh, they're actually waiting on their factory, not even letting the factory produce. So 400, the only one right now currently getting units out for scouting. Iakin's much more focused on getting their economy up quickly. Which makes sense, although at this point both players have relatively even economies, so I don't... I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm pretty sure both players should be just fine at getting their economies relatively even. Iakin's a little bit behind in their energy game, but that's... that's Iakin's. I'm sure they've probably gotten better gradually. They have an entire widget dedicated to telling them, make energy. I imagine by now it's probably sunk in. Anyhow, 400 just setting up for the scouting, making sure they know if Icons has decided to start in any cheeky way over to the southern side of the map. And no, they have not. They are going to the northeast, as is typical. And 400, on the other hand, just going for a quick leveler. What do they expect? They might, I guess they expect Icons is going for four Scorchers. Trying to go for a commander kill early on. And that actually does seem to be what Icons is up to. Or at least is getting Scorchers. I mean, Scorchers are typical. There's nothing weird about that. It's waiting until you have four Scorchers and then attacking. Which I think Icons is actually doing. I'm pretty sure Icons. I mean, they have three built up so far or building up so far. And... 400 preparing for that, just getting their levelers up, and two levelers will be more than enough to deal with the Scorchers coming in. Assuming we are seeing a Scorcher dive attempt. Where's the commander gone off to? Oh, the commander's out of position, though. So I guess 400 is assuming Icons is going to be rushing into the main base, because that would be kind of how you do it. Rush into the main base, and then go for the commander, assuming it's in the main base. That seems to be the way that's being done. Not sure that's the best way of going about it, but okay. I guess that makes sense. Anyhow, with that set up, there's the four Scorchers. And if 400... And if 400's commander is revealed, if the location's revealed, then the commander's dead. Because the levelers are way out of position to help the commander. Actually, the levelers going for a bit of an assault themselves. Getting out of position, the Scorchers going a very roundabout route. I guess they're assuming that 400 might be over to the northwest, so just in case, going around there... And if that's the case... Oh yeah, that would actually make sense, because they did see the dark coming in from the northwest. They didn't see it coming from the southeast. And 400... That might have been a ruse from them to try to get Icons to think that they're over to the northwest to give 400 more time to set up. And I would say it's works, too. Had, had they taken a more direct route... Although, I don't know. Taking a more direct route would have been suicide. So it's kind of a tough call. At this point, four Scorchers against one leveler. The Scorchers will win, and I don't think the leveler will actually kill any of them. Moment of truth, though. Coming in right now. Icons coming in with the Scorchers. And that leveler... Oh, is he able to kill a Scorcher? So the Commander Dive probably has to be aborted. There will be some raiding, though. I mean, there's no reason not to even try. But that leveler did manage to do some damage. Let's see, what kind of Commander are we dealing with here? Because this is the point where it matters. Economy Commander... Unupgraded Economy Commander. This actually could still work out. Actually, no, it can't. The Scorchers have taken too much damage. If they were un three undamaged Scorchers, then yes. But they've they've been damaged. So I don't see that working out. And Ikin's going for more Scorchers than more Levelers. But yeah, this, this raiding attempt is going to be relatively su successful, but it's not going to work out totally. Just mostly work out. Deal a bit of damage, get rid of a few things here and there. Damage the economy a little bit. Really more set up for this attack here. As a bit of a distraction. I mean, 400's moved their defensive un units out of position. Kind of a trying to attack a little bit here. And Icon's in a really good position to stop those levelers. Oh, but the defensive turrets... Way too much. If that defender goes down, it should be something. But the Scorcher's taking way too much time. Oh, almost died. I thought the Scorcher was going to go down thanks to the defender. But no, the defender doesn't manage to kill it. Scorcher's still able to deal the damage it needs to. Still able to wipe out the plateau, but it will die. Its fate is sealed. The levelers are coming up to greet it and welcome it to the... Wait, no, they're not. No, they're actually going around. They're, they don't care about the Scorcher at all. This Scorcher could actually continue to raid if it wanted to. If it was... If 400 got hit in the right spots. If Icons knew where to go. I don't think they do. I'm going to check. 
Because, no they don't. No, they have no idea whatsoever. Come on. So yeah, Iken's not at all aware of where 400 is weak, where 400 has defenses. Doesn't really matter though, Iken's with a very strong frontal assault. And 400, despite the economic advantage, does not have any production going on. Like, they have 15 metal per second going into the factory, where Iken's has 20 thanks to their command. Actually, 22 thanks to the commander. So at this point, this is just going to be a steamroll effort. I mean, honestly, it's almost like Iken's baited 400 into getting the levelers in order to basically rush for levelers of their own and force 400 to spread themselves thin, not knowing where the Scorchers were going to come from. And then from there, the Scorchers were just able to wipe out everything because the Scorchers didn't touch the commander at all. And I mean, they would have liked to, I'm sure. Commander dive is always nice to do. But it doesn't even seem to matter. And the Raptors will be a bit of a tricky thing. Levelers don't deal well with Raptors. But the sheer numbers, like, for cost, no, but in terms of the numbers available and what's been built so far, yeah, this is still going to be quite damaging. If the Scorchers could come in, all one of them, and help out getting rid of the Ravager, that might help. But yeah, the Ravager should be able to finish this without any issue. So, not a bad raid, but 400 is still in, a, in an okay-ish position. The main problem is now the, still the lack of production. But they have the Ravagers up. Icons, what are they going for? Going for Ravager, going for Scorcher. All right, so they have got... No, mostly Scorcher. They do have enough Ravagers for this to work, but they are going primarily Scorcher, and I... I guess with enough Scorchers, it should be fine. Like, having enough Scorchers, the Ravagers can't easily deal with it. It's just that with one or two Scorchers at a time, no, that's not going to work. And there go, there's the levelers coming around the side, which the Ravagers once again will get rid of. Icons this time with the Ravagers against 400's levelers. But this is once again going to go about the same way as it went inside of 400's base. Icons should be able to just stop this, no problem. So overall, this is actually working out pretty well for Icons. 400 does have a reasonably strong economy, they've built up a lot. Icons is way behind economically, the main problem is simply production. If 400 can get their production going, well, it's, okay, it's a little late now. They need to full, they need to push back this attack first, and then keep the production going, and then manage to deal with this stuff. And that's going to be very tricky because those scorchers are pretty much personal. No, those scorchers are going to be able to manage to kill kill everything. Leveler support is nice, but there's nothing here to stop the scorchers from dealing all their damage. Well, except for more ravagers, but it still doesn't matter. That factory goes down. That factory going down. That basically seals the game, or in theory, it might. 400 should be able to rebuild though. They have so much more metal. And they are going to go for it. It'll take them about half a minute, but if they manage to, they will be able to at least get another factory going to have the economy to support it. They just need more caretakers. Like, that's the biggest thing. Their, their problem has been a lack of production capacity, not a lack of economy. Although at this point, their economy is definitely heavily threatened. I mean, Icons might even just move in here, for all I know. Nah, they're not going to move in. They have nothing to move in with. All their masons are at home. But still, this is... This is not death, but 400, while they are going for another factory, they're not... Okay, there we go. Now they're finally assisting, and now they're finally using all the metal they have built up. But... It just seems like it's too late. Like, 400 had all this time to build up all these units, and they had hardly... They barely used their economy. Had they used their economy, they would have had so much more units, they would have had such a larger army it would have been almost impossible for them to have even lost their factory. And now their economy once again nearly on, or not once again, but now it's nearly on par with Icons, just thanks to all the damage that's been taken. And of course, continues to be taken because 400 continues to get raided. So yeah, I mean, good shot trying to assist a factory and really use up your metal, but it's just, that should have been done a minute or two ago. Actually, three or four minutes ago. Midway through the game, not nine minutes in. So a really good lesson about why it's important to make sure to use your economy when you have it. Because that way you get to keep it. Otherwise, you just get completely wrecked. But still, the Banshee is going to have one last shot. This is the one shot 400 has, which I don't see going super well. I mean, they might be able to deal some damage, but the Scorchers will probably completely destroy them. And then, of course, as soon as it's spotted, Icons has enough production capacity, they could get up Crashers no problem. Anyway, last ditch effort. Looks like he's going to go for the commander directly. Yep, indeed. Going for the commander, and that will probably not kill. In no, it will kill. Icon's commander is going to go down. 
But that's not a big deal. Not a big enough deal, at least. These three Banshees can't do too much. The Scorchers have been able to basically whittle down their numbers. Yeah, the Scorchers are very accurate against them. So the Banshees, good try. Certainly managed to deal some damage. Got rid of the Commander, but at this point, 400 has no economy. They've got nothing to work with. And their last vestige... Last vestige... That was a weird way of pronouncing it. Their last vestige of any survival is... Well, it's both spotted and pretty much dead. I mean, 400 might be able to get some revenge harassment going on here. You know, get a few metal extractors here and there, drag Icons' economy down as well, and build up their own Banshees, build up their own economy. Or rebuild their economy. That might work. But if 400 loses the ban these Banshees, it's done. Icons just has to kill them. And indeed, there's a Razor coming up just to make sure that the Banshees cannot quite run as roughshod as they had. Though admittedly, it wasn't a massive blow. It was a bit of a blow, but 400 is still way behind compared to what they dealt, what damage they dealt. And the Wasp going into its own death. Flying to its grave as the Scorchers prepare to greet it. And tear it to shreds. I think with that, 400 will probably throw in the tell. I don't know. They might... I don't see what else they have, really, that's going to work for them. No? I mean, another Wasp coming up, just in case, but there's not much. Like, there's five Banshees. That is the entirety of 400's army. There's... There are a few weak Metal Extractors that could be harassed. It's just... This is not enough. So I don't... I don't see that. I don't see this happening. This assault force here is just going to move in. Icons is just going to move this force in, and that'll finish the game. And Icons making sure to make their energy, but yeah, that, that force will move in, and that'll finish it. And the Banshee's coming out, not even trying to defend the main base. I don't think they're aware of this. 400 doesn't have any radar going, so... Oops. Yeah, 400 has no idea. Well, they have some idea. They have to. The Wasp died to them. But apparently not paying enough attention to that, so that is going to be it. The Banshee's are going to move in, going to be able to kill everything, maybe... Sorry, not, not kill everything. They're gonna die. They're all gonna die. That's the exact opposite of kill everything. They're they're all gonna be killed. These guys here, the Ravagers and Scorchers, that's what's gonna kill everything. I mean, 400's commander, when that goes down, we'll probably see the GG. Yeah, there we go. So 400 throws in the towel. I can stakes it, and that was really a lesson in using your economy. Like, actually producing with the economy you have. So that was that. Last match for tonight will be, after this one, Google Frog and Anarchid on Onyx Cauldron. Presumably will not be quite so one one and done battle. I mean, really, it was just one, one fight, and it pretty much was just a matter of cleaning up afterwards. Good shot with the Banshees, though, but ah, it would have been so much better if that had been from a position of strength. Like, had that been from keeping this alive because there were enough units being produced because all that metal had been used. But the metal advantage was still there. Oh well. So yeah. Next match, Google Frog and Anarchid on Onyx Cauldron. Stay tuned for that.